All right. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to this episode of the Note Closure Show. As always, Scott Clark's excited to be here. And I am even more jacked up today, this Wednesday, being a hump day. We have our one of our amazing sponsors, Credit Sense and Merrill Chandler here. But we should call – I told them that we got to come up with a different name after sitting through their boot camp intensive workshop this weekend. He needs to be – you're like the doc. You're, you're like the Sam Beckett from Quantum Leap. You're, you're like your own, like – Fundability superhero. That's why I changed in the superhero shirt here. You're going back and writing the right wrongs, the rights that once went wrong, so people can change their future, especially after this weekend. I know you're you're worn out. You bust your butt Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays here. You're kind of chilling at the house, which is great, well deserved. But my gosh, Meryl, what an amazing event, man. Thank you so much. It's so much. We had so much fun. We had Dozens and dozens of people on our on our uh, live bro broadcast, our simulcast. We had people in our in our uh, studio audience, uh, all there, and it was a home run. I got it. You know, I, I, I'm I'm a back patter. Uh, it was a home run. We were able to deliver so many amazing um, opportunities for paradigm shifts. People don't know what they don't know. We hear that all the time, but you can now vouch for it, Scott. People need to know these fundamentals well that that's the, so it's the truth there were so many people we, you had people of all ages all credit backgrounds some people are just paying cash for everything people that are you've been using credits people that had hiccups on the earlier aspect with going through the the debacle 10 years ago a lot of misconceptions were answered or proven false yeah. i should say credit uh, credit uh, or funding myths were proven wrong uh, wrong enough right away. So one of the biggest aha moments for me, just throwing it out there, was when you put up the naughty words. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, the wrong things to yeah. leave your, uh, your, your LLC or the, the things to put into it. And why don't we talk, why don't we start talking about that? Because I think that's a, would have a big impact, especially to our audience of people yeah. that, and entrepreneurs out there. There are actually words that if an underwriter or a loan officer or a lender looks at those words in the name of your business or in the business purpose on, on your LLC or a, a C Corp, there, you are going to not get funding, period. You're not going to get a dime of unsecured stated income business lines of credit. You'll get a credit card with a lower limit. You'll get, um, and full doc, yeah, they don't care what what you're called, and they don't kind of care what business you're in if you can prove that you, uh, with all the documentation that you're completely fundable. But what we're trying to get are these quick and uh, quick and easy um, credit lines, and your you your business name is a dead giveaway, absolutely. And let's let's talk about some of those naughty words because <laughs> notes is one of them, and I'm the jackass who's <laughs> been running a company called We Close Notes for years. And, yeah. and the beauty of the company is We Close Notes is an amazing name, but nobody's going to give you unsecured business lines of credit because you're telling them, hey, I would like you to give me $100,000 in unsecured uh, stated income credit, uh, credit lines, and I'm going to put this money at risk. How about that? Is that okay with you, Mr. Mr. Lender, Ms. Lender? They're not going to touch us, right? But property, investments, um, property management, all of those, anything that has to do with um, uh, real estate investors uh, and business owners in suspect companies. Like right now, Credit Sense is a credit company. So we get, lo we get looped in with credit repair companies and other suspect credit, you know, nefarious credit companies. The thing is, is that we're totally legit but on paper, we look like a, cre uh, a, a credit repair or one of these uh, bad juju companies. So I don't get credit in the name of Credit Sense. I get credit in the name of my management company, my, my, my consulting firm, which is Echelon Management Advisors. So I'm very fundable as the genius behind Credit Sense, but I take every dime out of Credit Sense comes to Echelon in the form of consulting fees. So I've separated, just like I recommend to my clients, I separate the genius behind your deals from your deals themselves. And, and, and your listeners, that we, they got to go to this workshop because we, we spend literally hours discussing these, these strategies 
And I don't want to get have people be like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? We got to give them the solution, right? So that's why we offer a web class. Um, and this Thursday, it's gonna. If you haven't got a sweetheart to spend it, spend it with me. I will spend Valentine's uh, evening, six o'clock Mountain Time, with you. But if you can't go, the 21st, we're out of town, so it's not, but the 28th is another web class. If you've already seen the web class, then March 2nd and 3rd, we're doing another intensive. You've got to come and find out what are the red flag words? What are the, what are the blocks that are in the way of your fundability? Because if you have, the, because so many times, as I, as I teach in this intensive, so many times we say, I'm a real estate investor. I'm a note buyer. No, you're not. You are a genius. You are a talented individual who buys notes or who buys properties. Those are different. And the lenders will lend to you. They will not lend to your deals. And this is where we, and we do an entire exercise on how to split out you away from your deals. And it's all beautiful it's all legal and moral and ethical and non-fattening right but it is but it's a hack and the entire weekend is about how to legally and ethically hack business underwriting so you can get those sweet sweet business lines of credit stated income uh, and unsecured yeah and for those that are listening for the first time uh meryl you mentioned on a previous episode there's what 40 different point factors basically that the banks look at to either approve you for personal or credit lines yep. uh, and stuff. And they only eight of them deal with your history. Is that correct? Or your, or your... Well, but yes, 40 characteristics that FICO measures on your credit profile. People say, Oh, I, yeah, I have an 800 plus credit score because, or high credit score because I pay my bills. That's not true. Paying your bills keeps you in the game. It keeps you off the bench. Whether you're a good Let's use the example of whether you're a good basketball player is how well you do with these 39 other items besides paying your bills on time. Being a masterful professional borrower is all about op optimizing all 40 characteristics. FICO doesn't call it this, but we call it the FICO 40. There are 40 characteristics that they measure on, on your profiles. And if you're, if you're paying your bills on time, but you're failing at these other ones, you're not fundable. They're not gonna give you money. And they look back 24 months, it's called a 24 month look back period. They look back 24 months to even to see how you've been forming on all 40 of these areas, guys, all 40. So, and we, we discussed, oh my word, in this intensive, we go over all the fundability of these FICO 40. So, yeah. And, and a couple of things in there that may throw a little people off is I noticed a difference in a couple names on accounts that affected my number, right? Names show different Scott Carson, Scott A. Carson, Scott Andrew Carson, you know, different things like that. But the thing that was overwhelming is literally I saw, oh, I pulled, you know, you had us do homework before the event, which is right. important. Yeah. Uh, so I was like, oh my gosh, literally had 20, I've bought a lot of property. I've moved a lot in the last 10 decade years, but it was showing 20 different addresses for me. I'm not joking, 20. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I lived there. Oh, I forgot I lived there. Oh yeah, I guess I had power turned on there. Oh my gosh, you know? <clears throat> and those addresses, even if they say previous, those addresses says, they're, they're like, think of it as um, identity genealogy. So if you have an address at ABC Street, and then it goes to XYZ Street, and then you're at Post Street, well, they want to know what the genealogy is. This the same Scott Carson? Which Scott Carson is? Did it come from this line of addresses or this line of addresses? Because they, your data points, guys. You're not a human being. You're a set of data. So all they can do is look at your data to see who you really are. And just so you know, credit bureaus can't use your entire social security as a search string. They can. They they most of them only use the last four digits. So. How many 3223s are there out there, right? So Scott Carson, it, it, depending on how common your name is, Merrill Chandler isn't the, isn't the common name either, but there's 29 of me. 
29 Merrill Chandlers. There's a, 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 a professor emeritus at Champaign, Illinois University, right? And, uh, and a pediatric surgeon in Contra Costa County in California. I rock. Merrill Chandler's got this thing going on, right? Yeah. So, so you got, you've got to give them the right data or, and get rid of every other version so that they can trust who they're giving their money to. Yeah, that, there's a whole exercise in the intensive about dialing all this in and what to do about it. So it's literally kind of like a, a page out of the movie Split. Every one of your addresses, every one of your names is like a different profile, a different it's personality. A different, and it's right? a different universe that they're trying to figure out which, which person am I giving my money to? Which version of Scott Carson is going to get this money? Because there is so much fraud and identity theft out there, that, but you've got to give them the right message you got to give them the right data and we're in charge of it they're not going to do it they try and dial it in with their algorithms why not just give them a crystal clear address hi this is Merrill Chandler and these are my data points and there's no other data points to co confuse me with and they're like yeah we want to give him money because he, we know who we're giving it to and then they look at the other FICO 40 and be like wow this guy has a 24 month look back period balances limit all those beautiful things, all those beautiful things. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the great things that I really enjoy too, because I'm a numbers and a spreadsheet guy. And when you, you sent the homework out, like, okay, you need to go pull your credit bureaus. Don't put, you know, do this, don't do this. Be very specific. So not hurting anybody anyway. And then you also said, okay, here's kind of a scorecard. Take what you found on the three bureaus and this other thing. And especially if your business, look at your business yep. thing, you know, pull those numbers too. Audit your business and take a look at the scorecard and fill this in. And based on what your points add up to, here's your an A, an A plus, an A minus, an A, a B plus, a B minus, a B, a C, a D, or an F, <laughs> you know? And, 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 and I know a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, especially in, in the end of the first day, you kind of ended on that. I'm like, wait, wait to wrap up the day on a positive note there, Meryl. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, I'm a D or I'm an F because of stuff that's happened to me. And you're like, well, hey, it's okay. Now, now you know. Now you know. Now you know. And every single one of those things we're talking about lets us, there is an optimization path for every one of those drag downs, right? There is an optimization path. And we know how to get there and, and optimize in a straight line towards that triple A plus fundability. I apologize for these small creatures. No, that's all right. This is it's okay. Just, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm working from home today, so absolutely. That's good. So that's a, and, and that's a great thing too. 24 months, guys, flies by literally like that, okay? That's the thing you got to look at too is you think about how fast 2018 flew by. Oh, man. You know, 12 months of following what you guys are teaching, a whole hand-holding. You can really do a lot of a great stuff there, you know, and really take things from, you know, whether you're a C up to a B, B to an A, or vice versa. And, and really knock things out and have a whole different animal uh, looking at you, you know, and yeah. a lot more opportunities so that you can cash in on more opportunities in the market. Because let's face it, in 24 months, I think we're going to be sitting in, in a much different place uh, market-wise, uh, yeah. real estate-wise, and other things like that out there as well, too. And why not be built up so you can take advantage of that? Let's be ready for it, right? Uh, the There are actual things that you will learn in the intensive that will make you recession-proof. That will recession-proof your your uh, credit, and it'll re recession-proof your fundability. And I'll show you even how to build relationships with the current lenders, so that they don't drop your your credit uh, your credit limits through the floor or raise your all that stuff. There are things you can do that protect the lenders, and if you protect the lenders, you're going to be their favorite borrower, and they're going to give you more money. Period. That's how this game works you become one of their favorite borrowers and they will give you all the money you can handle. Now, here's a little tidbit for our note nation out there. And this is something that I was so excited about that I picked up the phone and called you Saturday night. I know you're exhausted. It's seven o'clock here. You've been on a marathon, eight hour day, eight plus nine hour day. I get it. I teach, I've taught plenty of events to know that, but I was like, I got an idea. Cause you said that, that the uh, FICO, you know, they love it. If you have how many mortgages on your credit? You have how many more? Four, right? Four mortgages. One auto loan. Four mortgages. You are you you are you are 
like the perfect real estate investor borrower for these lenders to look at. Double credit card, major credit cards, right, too? Yep, yep. your revolving accounts has to have high value cards, which you'll learn all about and how to evaluate those cards. But not exceeding like a 40% usage of that, right? Correct. These are some basic nuggets that I didn't know. I learned that. That was great about things. So we run a lot of things to our accounts. We run a lot of things to our cards for events and things like that. You know how that goes. Yep. Uh, but just then I was like, oh, we need to allocate this a little bit. Let's, let's use this a little bit smarter by knowing the secret formula. But the thing I called you about on uh, Saturday night, Saturday night. I was like, okay, I, have, I get plenty of deals in. You know, we get plenty of properties that we take back or things like that. And the whole separation of yourself from your entity, right? Yep. And I was like, well, Meryl, I said, I don't have any mortgages on my credit right now. You know, um, don't have it at all right now. I was like, man, could I technically take a property, owner finance it to me at a specific amount that makes sense that you share the, the right thing in there? Could I not set that up with uh, my servicing company who's reporting to all three credit bureaus and just pay monthly? A, 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 me pay a monthly payment out on the mortgage, which gets come back to me anyway. Yep. And they're reporting in it and that will boost my credit scores too, right? Absolutely. Because you just need, it doesn't matter if it's a 50,000 or a $500,000 mortgage, you want it to say that this is a home loan. This is a mortgage. Remember the icon on FICO, it just has the house with the dollar sign. If it has that, you are golden. You have four of those, you are killing it. Yeah. So hopefully people are like, because that was my, like, that was my life shattering besides a couple, like I talked about before the name, my God, I'm screwed up there. I've already started going out and shopping for seasoned entities to change it there as well, too. It's funny. Um, and it's funny how things happen. Like I had a company reach out to me, hey, we provide seasoned LLCs. And so I was like, well, let me double check on that. And I'm like, okay, I, my homework's looking for you. But then you hear that. I'm like, thank you, God. Thank yeah. you for putting me in the right spot. Where is where's Doc? Where's Sam in here? I am in the flow. Somebody came to my past and is healing my future because now I know what to do, right? And those those entities, those shelf those shelf companies, literally do compress time. They're like wormholes for fundability. Yes, yeah. your OB fun fun Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> But that, that was fun Kenobi. <laughs> yeah. And, and I, I we, we're, we're joking, but I'm honestly, I mean this if, for those that listeners, you know, that I don't usually, I don't bring on outside sources that I don't uh, promote that I don't see a value to that. I'm not a client of, you know, I've had, I had people that come on, want to be guests in the show. I'm like, well, I don't use your, I don't use your product, right? I'm not going to let you pay to be on my show. That's not the way I work this stuff. I'm not, I'm just not the, uh, the sponsor whore. <laughs> I was just going to say, you're not the whore. So. Yeah, no. I, I want to retain some level of uh, tr truth here, what we're talking about and things like that. But that's the thing. That's why I sat through the, the workshop. And you, I, we've known each other for years, been clients. We've had, you know, I've recommended to other speakers. You've worked with other people and stuff like that too. And, and the thing that is is great to look at is like spend time. Like now, here's here's an ass. I'm like, hey, you now just you know. Yeah, now, now you know. oh. Usually I'm just like, hey, you take care of it. Tell me what I need to do <laughs> on a variety of things. But that's the thing that people don't realize is we, we get nuggets. Like we, we, people that read a book, you know, or we watch a, a, read a blog or we, you know, we watch a, something that talks about things. There's a lot of myths out there that are not accurate, that aren't the same oh, way. And we, we have no clue how bad the intel is out there. Mm -hmm. Because lenders are trying to protect themselves, so they would rather err on the side of conservative when all we have to do is align our behavior with what they're lending to. And they'll lend to us all day, every day. We just have to align our behavior. And they're not going to tell us because they're, they believe that if they tell, let the cat out of the bag, that we're gaming the system when we're not. We're literally just performing like perfect, perfect professional borrowers mm -hmm. so that, that's what we do at the intensive the web class gives you a teaser about the intensive but if you if you believe scott if you like what you're hearing our march 2nd and 3rd intensive we are we already have a couple of dozen signups for it we're a month out right it's three right. weeks out so now, for those that are listening to this a little bit later on because we get people that listen to it i mean we run ads through our episode. So you'll hear an ad. If this is after March 2nd, you'll hear an ad at the end of this episode about the next couple dates. You have any tentative dates already uh, kind of pre-planned? No, we, 
we do not have our uh, we do not have our April date, but it is the one supporting Laughlin and Associates and Aaron. Then those, okay. so good, we'll good, be supporting good. that one. Yeah, their next one is because their next magnify their wealth is the eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth of April. And we'll be doing it two to three weeks after that, so we can take all of Aaron's people who want to go and and just drive it. So it'll be it'll uh, hold it. Actually, March twenty ninth and. 30. What's the weekend? The last weekend of March. The 29th or the 30th and 31st of March. That is, that's our next one after, uh, after that. Because okay. we have, it's in Southern California and we've got literally like five events all, all coming to that one. So yes. So that's good that people can attend in person or they can attend online because you yeah. had a huge amount of people on the last one that were very interactive throughout. You live stream it to your private Facebook group just for the event. Yep. People can be interactive with everybody else. A lot of interaction between everybody. Um, one of the things too, that was an aha moment for me as well. I wanted to share this nugget too, is that the personal scores and the business scores are totally different on how f evolved FICO is, right? Meryl, you want to shed a little light on that? Yeah. Okay. So everybody, one of the, one of the huge um, uh, myths that you're talking about, Scott, is the belief that, that, if we, we can build our pay decks done in Bradstreet pay deck score, and that's going to help us get these uh, unsecured credit, credit lines. Pay decks, guys, FICO has entered the business, um, business credit reporting marketplace. And so over the next couple of years, it's going to be, it's going to grow into being as dynamic as the personal side. But right now, FICO, we, we've been to FICO, we've talked with the CEO, we've talked with the score development teams, you'll learn all about those details and all the, we got to ask a hundred questions of the FICO personal and score develop uh, and business score development teams so that we, and they made me sign an NDA, right? So nothing I'm saying violates the NDA, but the, our, we have a lot of juice in our software and our algorithms that we learned when we were back there. Well, they told us that Credit reporting for business is to um, business credit what personal credit reporting was back in the 80s. I mean, it's literally 30, 40 years. Business credit reporting is 40 years behind personal credit reporting. And so they don't look at your trade lines. They don't even trust the trade lines that are reported. The Dun & Bradstreet Paydex score is a folly that was the Paydex that they invented so that they could create revenue from the business data they were collecting, period. Nobody uses Paydex to give you a $50,000 business line of credit. They don't. It never happened, never will. They check your purse, they, they, a FICO business, told us that they 80% of all small business and entrepreneurial loans approvals are based on your personal credit profile. They just simply use the Dun & Bradstreet data and the, and the um, Experian business data and the Equifax business data to confirm what your personal. So their identifier, they're looking for the identifiers. They're looking for that to sync up to make sure that they're not, that no, they're not getting gained, but they do not use business credit reporting of trade lines for business decisioning. They don't use it, guys. So you got to know what the rules of the game are before you even have a chance of winning this. And that's what the that's what the this intensive is all about. Is a deep dive. I mean, it is such a deep dive. Bring snorkels are not going to work here, guys. You're going to need full on dual tank scuba gear. And then, and one of the great things too is I know that's a lot to take in two days intensive, but you provide a hundred and fifty plus one hundred fifty seven page manual. Yeah, along with that, so people can follow along with you. They can take notes. They have the the stuff right there for them to do. If they're watching the online link, you send them the link so they can download that and either keep well, it. Get all your workbooks, and you get the interacts of Excel numbers or PDF worksheets. You get everything to be. If, if go to CreditSense dot or Facebook. Um, dot com slash credit sense and just read what people are saying. I mean, where were the not people had it was super easy in the privacy of your own underwear, watch a weekend and and literally turn on the lights of your funding capacity, your what we call fundability. Mm -hmm. You will you will never be the same. Uh, uh, man. One of the things that I uh, also took as a, a nugget here was to actually, and this goes back to me being a banker at JPMorgan Chase, literally 
15 years ago. And, and I enjoyed my time there. I had a great time. If I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I'd probably be a banker again. But the thing that caught a lot of people off guard, I think, was the fact is that, hey, if they pre-approve you to turn it down. Yes. Yes. Do not accept any offer that is emailed or mailed to you or offered on the website of your bank. If you have to put the, the, the key to this is they sent something to you, deny it. Because if you have to put in a code, like an authorization code, you are literally saying, hi, I am not a professional borrower. I am an ignorant borrower and I don't know what I'm doing. Put me on your susceptible to being manipulated list. Please put me on your I'm willing to be manipulated by you list. I swear to Buddha, guys, no joke. Deny those. Now, I'm not saying don't go to Chase and independently and ask for that deal, but do not let them send you to the landing page or the web page or the whatever that's that where you have to put in a code. It is it is a racket because they're selling you particular credit instruments that may not be the highest and best use for a fundable professional borrower credit profile. They're, you're not getting it. So if you're sent to, I don't care if it's on the personal side or the business, do not get on the, I'm, I, am a, I am a seagull credit um, borrower instead of an eagle credit borrower. You want to choose the instruments that you have. Do not respond to those lists, I'm telling you. That is the great, single greatest manipulation of the credit system because once you're on there, you're, you will get more and more and more and you think what you're getting, those credit lines or, excuse me, those credit cards that you're being offered, you think they're good for you and they're not. Oh, Lord, baby Jesus. You're no. so, you're, you're so, can I remember back because literally – as a banker, our thing, we got paid on commissions to sell products. And if you're going into a bank, this is just not Chase. This is a lot of the major banks out there. The banker sees, oh, you're automatically approved for a, a credit card. You know, you're, oh, you're automatically approved for a, a line of credit. And you are, yes, you're tagged in the system, in their system as, oh, hey, we can sell them a product that's two, three points higher, or five points or 12 points higher. And... It's, it's literally people came and it's like, no, you know, and I see other people getting approved. I'm like, oh, wow, they're getting approved of this. Mm, that's kind of, that's not really a good deal for them. And some people are like, oh, I want it because I need it. I'm like, eh, okay. And then people that came back in and re-ran their numbers or reapplied or applied for the first time traditionally got better rates, better products. Better rates, everything. Yeah, you, be, because you're susceptible, they're going to take advantage of you. They're gonna, you're going to be at 24.99 instead of 18.99. Period. To compare the offers, you'll see differences. That because you are at, I call it being at cause or at effect. I want you as a professional borrower. Our goal at Credit Sense is to make you a professional borrower to know the rules of the game. I want you to be an NBA level up, um, credit player, not a pickup game at the rec center credit player. Okay. So to do that, you've got to know what the playbook is that they're using. And one of the big playbooks is market to them and, and, let, those, let, and let them buy from us at higher rates. Now, here's one of the biggest problems with this whole thing is when you are a susceptible borrower, when you're a susceptible borrower, not only do you get worse deals, but the thing is you end up on a list that says, I'm chasing money. And that's the worst. We find there's a correlation between people who accept offers for credit cards and whether or not you're fundable, whether or not you're fundable for business lines of credit. Because business lines of credit are their sweet spot. That's the cheapest money they offer, the most convenient money they offer. They're not going to give that to somebody who's like, gimme, 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 yes, 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 to credit cards. Not going to happen. So we got to play this game smart, guys smartly we've got to make this and we got to be pro ballers not not little little leaguers <laughs> well and that's the thing is then they also then turn around and sell that data off as well or 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 uh the credit bureaus sells that data off to other companies oh. yeah, we'll, you know, we, we'll teach you how to remove your name from all those lists so you can get off the susceptible borrower list 
We can get all those things, you can get off those um, lists so that you can start fresh and start playing the game like a pro baller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the huge thing. There was a well, lot of... That's a great one, Scott. You, that, you nailed that one. I'm well, I mean, it's just... That was an aha moment. And I've, you know, I've been a banker, been a VP of Chase here in Austin. We opened up a, a ton of branches. Yeah, at one point, I said the uh, opened a branch on the north side of Austin where we opened the most accounts ever for a Chase branch in opening weekend. Okay, I didn't become the number one banker in Texas for not knowing how to sell products. And that's the thing. <laughs> Looking back now, my the, the eyes are open, the, the goggles are the blinders are taken off now, being yeah. on the opposite side of the thing. Absolutely. <clears throat> And they want those accounts because it, because here's the thing, it isn't just the interest rates. You know where you know where credit card issuers, all these lenders make the most money, they make it on the swipes. So so these premium cards that you know where they're co-branded or whatever, they're less valuable as a professional borrower <laughs> on your profile. But every time you swipe that card, three to eight percent of of every merchant dollar is going into their coffers. So they want, that's why they say, oh yeah, if you spend $2,500 in the next 90 days, we'll give you 50,000 points and we'll give you, we'll raise your limit or whatever. You're like, okay, spend, spend, spend. You're just putting money in those coffers. Even you guys, you guys have wondered, oh, why, how do, if I carry zero balances, why does that, how do banks make money off of me? I've got one over on them. Psh. You fool. We are foolish to think that banks will ever let us get one over on them. They use those swipes, and that's why they co-brand. Co you know, co-branding is, is only a few years old because it's one more way to charge merchants more money out of that back end of your cost. You're paying retail. No harm, no foul to you as the consumer. Merchants are paying out the nose for every time you swipe that card because somebody's got – the lenders aren't going to pay for those airline points and those overnight stays at Marriott or, or, or Hilton, wherever. So it's a, it's a racket. We, and it's okay if you know how to play the game and let it benefit you. We, I don't have a problem being part of a racket. Just don't get taken advantage of and don't diminish your power as a borrower because you don't know the rules of this, of this damn game. <laughs> and that was one of the biggest things is you go through a lot of the rules. You really oh, go through so much of the rules, personal wise in the first day, business wise in the second day. Yeah. Like through the, fridge, you know, the, the, the checklist, I guess you could say the scorecards to help people put their points together, kind of see where they stand. You know, there was things I was surprised about in a good way. And I'm like, oh, I'm a little surprised about that. I thought that would be better. And that's, everybody was like that. You yeah. literally seen comments pop up from, you know, people like, oh my gosh, this was so, I got messages and text messages from people. That was so well worth it to do it. And one of the yeah. great things too, is you make it very affordable to, to go yeah. through it. It's, so, it's 90, you know, the price point right now, you may change it, but it's 97 to get a seat. It's yeah. 197 to get all the recordings and some other stuff with it as well. You, yep. If they want you, the yep. brand master funding dragon, <laughs> to come in and review. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sit down and review the, the, the profiles with them one on one afterwards. That's a little bit more at four ninety seven. Yeah, and, but they get, they get an hour with me building a strategy on what to do and how to uh, how to make this work. Right. So yeah, guys, it's ninety seven bucks to attend an entire weekend with me talking at this level and this fast about literally hundreds of rules. We cover the FICO 40. We cover the, all the fundability metrics. You're going to find out exactly how fundable you are by the time you leave that weekend and what to do about it. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful thing out there. And the, the website, once again, Meryl? Uh, for, oh, it's epicfundingsecrets.com slash bootcamp intensive. Bootcamp dash intensive. Yeah, bootcamp dash intensive. Epicfundingsecrets.com slash bootcamp dash intensive. Mm -hmm. And now the web class, if you want to get another hour's worth of literally just slide after slide after slide of what we're going to be talking about, go to uh, Epic Funding Secrets 
dot com slash web class one word web class epic funding secrets dot com slash web class sign up for the hour just to see just kind of it literally is gatlin gun of an hour of this level stuff to tease you to go in but if you if you trust scott if you trust the, what what even what we're the level that we're talking about you can go straight to the the, the epic funding secrets dot com slash a uh, boot camp dash intensive and you'll uh, and sign up at 97 bucks. If you want the recording, I mean, a recording of, if you can capture it all in one take, it's 97 bucks. Our most popular one is 197 because it's still outrageously inexpensive, but you literally get all of the materials and all of the recording so you can go back and dissect it because I, it literally is this fast for 16 plus hours. Mm -hmm. it, it totally is. I I went for the recording so I can back and play in half speed, so <laughs> double speed, so I can listen to some of the, sp the spots that I missed on that I would step away from the computer screen. Because I, I came in the office and was watching here the office, but I was working on stuff while you were answering questions and things like that too. And, and I was like, wait a second, I gotta go back to that. Hang on a second. <laughs> no, good. you will miss some of these things that are just um uh, uh yeah. Do I tell people just get in sit down shut up and hold on because this is going to be this is going to be a, a, a literally drinking out of a fire hose mm -hmm. so one of the things i did monday night i had a webinar called building your perfect note business and i encourage you to listen to this you can go either to our youtube channel and listen to that replay or you can go over to the note night in america podcast and catch merrill's replay there as well it should be up um in the next day or so we talked about specific things and you talked about lawful and associates having somebody there to protect your assets, really uh, to take a look at your paperwork, make sure everything's in place, make sure your entities are up to date. They're not outdated because that's affects affects when, you know, banks are looking at your entities to see if they stayed in place and things like that too on the business side. But also, you know, the thing you've got to realize is you need somebody there protecting. It's another vendor to add to your, Rolodex of experts, you know, and that's the thing when we talk about having kind of a pitch deck as we go out and talk with investors and talk with potential funders, you know, showing, hey, here's, here's who our servicer is. Here's who our, our, our a vendor is that handles this for us. Here's who our attorneys is. Here's who our insurance company. Here is our fundability team. Advisors. Yep. You know, they're going, they're looking at what we're doing on a credit basis, a borrowing basis to make sure that we have the best image out there so that we are more fundable. And I think a lot of investors who take their credit seriously may not know all the things like, oh, well, you are very serious about this. You are trying to make sure you've got a golden goose and things. So we all, look, plenty of people had hiccups 10 years ago. Yeah. You know, and I, you still look at people having defaults on their mortgages these days. There are things that you can do to get rid of those things. Mel goes through that. They've got a whole concierge level, a whole, a whole thing to help you out with that as well too, that you talk about that. You willing to work with people, make payment plans, whatever's got to work for them. You're, you're very flexible on right. what you're doing on that. But the, you've got a, a true passion, a true passion. Your whole team, Brad, Jessica, Cheyenne, I know all these people well. They all echo that same passion and same drive to really help people. It's like bubbling over with enthusiasm to try to to help uh, make America make America's credit great again, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because I'm telling you, a good credit it does not mean fundability, and fundability is what lenders are looking for. <clears throat> the second uh, the the metaphor I use to 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 echo that Scott is that imagine you are first of all we want to become the the first draft choice of an NBA team called Citibank, Chase, Wells, Bank of America, the big players that have the cheapest money if they trust you. We want to be the first round draft choice, and then we want them, we want to be so good at this game that they give us the ball over and over and over. We're not on the bench. We're not out of the game. We're not backstopping other real uh, players and professional borrowers. They're giving us the ball over and over and over because they know we will score. And when we score, they win, we win, we get championship under our belts. We can do this. And it's a partnership with lenders. They will lend to you guys. They believe that you are their perfect, perfect borrower. 
I know how to make you a perfect borrower in their eyes, not in mine. I'll tell you what they're looking for. And so that, that's the whole thing. First round draft choice and get, get first string, give us the damn ball because we're going to score over and over and over again for them and for us. Yeah, I, I'm going to say here since we're coming about on here in the next month, your event is literally the combine of somebody who's looking at their personal and business credit to help them pick it, measure it, look at everything, and realize which way to go next. And that's the thing, everybody. If you do, Trust me, you, I guarantee you don't know what's sitting out there in your burrows. I was surprised. Everybody was surprised at something. And that alone, that knowledge is power. And that's the thing that you get by signing up for their intensive boot camp. And so, yeah, this is a little bit more of a – a, uh, a nuggets and pitch uh, episode because I think it's valuable to you guys. I think it's, a, it's not really a pitch. It's more of an investment in your, your long-term funding. Just it- find out, just find out where you are. Just like, just like Scott said, at the end of day one, people are like, okay, here, you get to see your fundability successes and failures straight eyeball to eyeball. You get to look at your fundability in the face, but now you know why lenders are not just dishing out 50 and hundred thousand dollar credit lines to you. You know why? And you know what the optimization path is to fix it. So while it can feel a little discouraging, just keep plowing through because guys, we're going to lose a few games to learn how to play well, how to play better so that when, so we can get that championship. It really is. Find out the truth of your situation. Then figure out how you want to fix it. Exactly. And so, guys, once again, I would take the opportunity. Go check it out. EpicFundingSecrets.com slash bootcamp dash intensive. Yes. Put the link in the show notes on the website for those that are watching that as well. Yeah. And if you go there, um, the very t- there is a video of an uh, of a web class, so you can watch that 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 introductory web class right there before you even sign up. You can see what all even more nuggets. Imagine more stuff, and uh, yeah, just do one, invest in your in, invest in your profile, guys. Invest in your fundability. Yeah, and one final thing too: if you go through the end of the first day and you don't find value. Meryl, you're glad to refund their money back. Let them Correct. go in separate ways. We, we, our money back guarantee says come to the first day, buy your ticket, come to the first day. If you are not blown away, if you do not like what you experienced, we will refund the value of your ticket. And you don't get to go to the second day, but you will get your money back for, um, for, your, for your attempt at seeing where you stand. Yeah, that says it all, everybody. That's, that's a big thing. Not three days, not 30 days. Hey, that day, come see, take it, try, test try it, get it there. I guarantee you're blown away. Tons of value, tons of value. That's why we had to have Merrill back on uh, just a couple days after he just did it. He's worn out at the house. You know, <laughs> he was barely conscious an hour ago when we were talking before the show. <laughs> Coffee hadn't kicked in. But once again, uh, Merrill, once again, congratulations to your team. Great event. So proud of it. Uh, so glad to be a part of it. Learned so much stuff. Thank you, Scott. Uh, for all, you know, for all. Not only, not, I had a lot of respect for you beforehand. I even more respect now. I'm even a bigger advocate of what you guys are doing. Thank you so much, man. Have a spectacular day. Guys, the, you got a genius here uh, leading the charge on notes. So, hey, do what he tells you to do. If we, we, It's going to be something else instead of we close notes before too long. Who knows? <laughs> I know. It'll be we close dot dot be Carson dot. Advisor, Carson Marketing, something like that. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I love it. <laughs> but, hey, man, thanks so much, Merrill. Have a great day. Enjoy your rest of your day off. All right, bud? Thanks. Be well. Bye now. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Note Closure Show. Like I said, check it out. Once again, epicfundingsecrets.com slash bootcamp dash intensive. You will not be disappointed. Trust me. I guarantee it. And uh, like I said, if I don't, you don't like first egg, Merrill's glad to refund the money back at no cost. 97 bucks, guys. Trust me. That's worth it. Uh, not eating, drinking coffee for three days just to pay for that there. Trust me, a lifetime of knowledge worth two days of spending time online. So otherwise, guys, go out, make something happen. And uh, thanks for listening. And we'll see you all at the top, everybody. Bye.